Hey guys, welcome back to Learning to Mom and happy December. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Christmas since that's coming up this month. When Brantley and I first got married, we decided that we wanted to make Christmas um, less about Santa Claus and gifts for our future children and more about Yay! our Savior Jesus Christ. Maya's watching Frozen right now, if, that, if you hear anything. <laughs> But as we've gotten kids, we realize Santa is so fun and heck yeah, we're doing that. But keeping Christ in Christmas is still really important to our family. So we have come up with a few ways or found a few ways um, to help our kids uh, understand the importance and the meaning of Christ in Christmas. So the first way that we kind of um, help our kids remember Christ um, throughout the month of December is we just talk about it. We talk about him. We talk about his birth every single day. We have a little nativity out for our kids that they can play with and um, so that it's always out. It's down to their level so they can use it. They can play with it and it's one that I'm not worried about breaking. <laughs> And actually, I found this idea from a blog post. Um, every single day we talk about one character uh, from the nativity story and we let them open it up in a little present or we just put it out in the nativity. We read a scripture about it. So um, for example, we have the Mary, Joseph, the shepherds, wise men. Those could all take one day. And then we also add in Zacharias and Mary and um, the frankincense and the myrrh and what those things mean and what they meant to the birth of Jesus Christ. We also love reading books to them. There are so many great children's books about keeping Christ in Christmas and the true meaning of Christmas. And that has been a really fun way for the kids to um, experience that and to learn about that. Look at all those people. Look at all those people. What's that? It says, so Christmas is the Lord's birthday, the day he came to earth, forever we will celebrate his very special birth. There's his Jesus right now, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Um, just this year, we've started letting the kids also write letters with us to uh, friends and family. Well, not really write letters. Um, we, we have them draw pictures or paint pictures. And um, when we get our Christmas cards, we'll put those paintings in with the, with the Christmas cards um, for grandparents and family members and close friends so um, they can be a part of sharing that Christmas joy with While us. While we write the letters and, and paint and things, we talk about how Jesus Christ wants us to reach out and to love everyone around us and especially at Christmas time he wants us to spread cheer and joy um, so to those that we love and those who might need extra love at this time. Um, the third thing that has really been cool for our kids this year we've just been starting all this this year but is doing some service um, and while our kids are still really really little um, it so it's not e the easiest to have them go volunteer to soup kitchen. Well, that's wonderful. It's just not something that we can do right now. But what we did is it's kind of a, oh, what is that? Hello. My goodness, gotta get that. So what I like to do is I, just for me personally, I like to have a clean slate in January. I like to get rid of all the stuff. It's kind of like a spring cleaning in December. Um, so it kind of was a double reason for that. Um, so what I did was I had Maya, we went around with a big trash bag and we just got rid of some toys and clothes that were too small for her. And I was really surprised because I thought that this was going to be really, really hard for her to do. And, um, but I told her, we went up to the Christmas tree. I held her close and I said, Maya, don't you love our Christmas tree? And she said, yes, yes. And then I said, Maya, did you know some kids don't have a Christmas tree? Some kids don't get presents on Christmas. Don't you think it would be so nice if we gave some of our toys and our clothes to those kids who don't have any presents? And I was shocked at how fast she threw toys in that garbage bag. And I kept telling her, I was like, okay, Maya, we're giving these away. You can't, you're not getting them back. We're not, they're not borrowing them, we're giving them. And because I wanted her to make sure she understood that no, this was goodbye to the toys. But she did. She she said, No, mom, I want to share. I want to share my toys. And um, she hasn't asked for any of the toys she put in. I took out a couple <laughs> that she plays with a lot. 
But it was so amazing because this little three-year-old comprehended that little kids needed toys. And, ooh, you okay? And um, I think, I think three-year-olds and little kids are a lot more mature than we think and that we give them credit for. Um, I think they can comprehend that um, we need and we need to give to others. Um, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Light the World Challenge. This is a challenge put out by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for the month of December. So what it is is every week they have a challenge um, and something to do that will help light the world. Meaning spread light, spread Christ's joy, spread Christ's message to other people. It focuses on four things. Lighting the world, so doing things that will affect the world. Donating to a worthy cause. Um, getting out and um, helping with anything that anything that's the big picture. Second, lighting your community. So serving in your community, helping those in need that are within your reach, um, giving food to a neighbor, anything like that. The third is lighting your family. So serving within your family, um, reaching out to those uh, siblings or parents or um, children that you've lost touch with or, or just serving them in a, in a new and meaningful way. And the fourth is light your faith, um, which this to me is so wonderful because during Christmas is when we're thinking about our faith, we're thinking about our Savior, we're thinking about God, and um, it's such a beautiful time to focus on your faith and how it can grow stronger for the next year. So Light the World, um, you can find it at www.lighttheworld.org, and it has examples of what you can do to accept the challenge and to um, do it with younger children, with older children. It has lots of great resources for you um, to help make December a very meaningful Christ-centered time. Okay guys, I hope you have a wonderful uh, first week of December. Go check out that Light the World at uh, lighttheworld.org and thanks so much for watching. See you!